Hello! On today's special educators edition of Paper Power, we're going to be creating a Makerspace Cardboard Choice Board. My name is Mr. Sherman, and I'm part of the Modern Learning Resource Team at the Peel District School Board. A Makerspace is a physical location meant to complement a Maker Education pedagogy. The space is generally filled with production equipment, like yarn, microcomputers, robots, wood, cardboard, and 3D printers, as these give learners options and resources to help them develop solutions and share their understanding as they work through real-world problem solving. As today's focus is on cardboard, we'll look at tools, tactics, and techniques that will help learners produce solutions using this material. Here we see a variety of tools that might be beneficial in a makerspace such as safe and secure cutting tools and a variety of cardboard fasteners. Creating a cardboard choice board is also a crucial asset for a makerspace. This resource can provide modern learners with inspiration, ideas, and models to pull from when designing solutions. It should have interactive examples with STEAM-minded descriptions, as this will equip modern learners well during the planning and production process. Another key feature to consider is a modification to help customize your choice board to fit each learning experience. Examples can be built onto separate panels and mounted using Velcro, brass fasteners, or another type of latch. This modification helps tailor your choice board to each learning experience. It also helps our youngest makers focus on the best examples to use for the problem they're trying to solve. In addition, learners can remove panels from the choice board, return to their work location, and have a closer look. Now let's look at some options you might want to consider building for your cardboard choice board. This example for tabs has three connection points and tabs are useful for attaching new components to existing creations. Here we see a flange which is useful for connecting spindles, rods, or to act as an axle. They're also useful for connecting cardboard to odd connection points. This is an example of a gusset where small triangular shapes reinforce a 90 degree corner. Here's an example of a slot, where we've cut halfway through two pieces of cardboard and slid them together. They're useful for reinforcing or bracing surfaces, like the legs for a tabletop. This tab and slot is an example of two previous components put together and is useful for creating unique parts. This that we see here could easily become a guide for a rod, it could be a handle for lifting, or it could also be the target in a cardboard carnival game. Duct tape is a useful cardboard connector, as it can reinforce a corner, act as a sturdy hinge, or create a water or airtight seam. Pivot points are single point connections created by brass fasteners or small dowels that help you make simple mechanisms out of cardboard. Ramps are a great way of adding movement to your cardboard creations and are easily made by cutting cardboard tubes in half and mounting with duct tape. Origami is a wonderfully whimsical way of folding paper or cardboard to make creative components, kinetic parts, or other practical objects. This example of a spindle shows a rotating rod with a tab and a cam that would be useful for operating a kinetic sculpture or other mechanism. Rods could be as simple as a pencil, or a wooden dowel, or even a cardboard tube. This example of a cardboard button is a good showcase for paper circuitry using copper tape, or if using another EdTech tool like a micro bit, makey makey, or other little bit components. You may want to even inspire modern learners to create their own materials that they'll eventually go on and use to create their masterpiece. Here we see a piece of paper that I made on my own. With a little help from the Ontario Science Centre. Once you've built your panels, added short descriptions, and mounted them onto your cardboard choice board, your modern learners will have a great selection of inspiration to help with their real-world problem solving. Once you've had a chance to work with your cardboard choice board in collaboration with students in either your physical or virtual learning environment, we'd love to hear how things went by using hashtag Peel21st in your professional learning network, such as Twitter or Peel PD discussion boards. Thanks for listening.